Spartan teams are bound to win. They're fighting with the Vim. I always used to joke about we're fighting with a Vim. And the question was, what's a Vim? <laughs> Henry Nelson is 92 years old. I was in the band 1940 to 43. Almost as old as the fight song itself. And I've probably played the thing with no exaggeration at least a thousand times over the years in one unit or another. And that same tune is what current marching band members still play today. It's tradition to open every rehearsal with it. You know, it's something we all care about. It has to do with football and just our sports teams and everything, which we're all very involved with. After hours of practice, it all culminates here in Spartan Stadium, where the fight song has been played for 100 years. And 100 years later, the fight song finally has a name. Think about the tagline of the fight song. It is clearly victory for MSU. I mean, it's the powerful finish, right? This is John T. Madden's 27th season as the marching band director. Okay, page 12, beginning of the closer. And after 20 Three, years of discussion, five, the MSU fight song is now victory for MSU. It's pretty exciting to hear about just because uh, the fight song means a lot to the marching band. Senior Logan Blissett says it's been a long time coming. We're so involved with it and we play it so often, we sing it so often that it's, it's cool to hear us have a name. You know. It's always going to be the MSU fight song. We're never going to take the identity, but if you add this, this title, and maybe it gives us some more things to connect to. A connection that runs deep and has former band members like Henry still playing with the alumni band to this day. Everybody has to change. So changing the, giving the Michigan State fight song a name is a good change. In East Lansing, Daniel Hamburg, Focal Point News.